Welcome back for today's Farm and Ranch News. The U.S. House of Representatives this week failed to override President Joe Biden's veto of legislation to undo the administration's Waters of the U.S. rule. House Republicans tried to sway more Democrats leading up to the vote but ultimately failed 227 to 196 to meet the two-thirds majority required to override a presidential veto. Still, Republicans got 10 Democrats to vote for the override. They include House Agriculture Ranking Member David Scott and Representative Sanford Bishop, Ranking Member of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Agriculture. The rules specified what wetlands, streams, and other waterways qualify for federal protection as waters of the United States or WOTUS. Critics, including farmers, ranchers, and developers, have called the policy government overreach. The U.S. Supreme Court is currently considering the SAC adverse EPA case, which could impact the president's WOTUS rule. Now ahead of the next monthly cattle on feed report due out here at the end of the week, USDA is expected to see a 5% drop in inventory from April 2022, according to analysts. That implies 11.5 million head of cattle on feed, with estimates between 94.5 and 95.5% of last year's count. Placements in feedlots were estimated 5.2% lower year over year, while March marketings of feedlot cattle are expected to be down 0.9%.